Hey guys, welcome back to the Second Time Lucky Mining Channel. In today's quick video, we are going to go and put this RDNA 3 card, in this case, the RX 7900 XT, getting it working and mining on Hiveaways. Now, I know Hiveaways has ruffled some feathers lately with a new pricing model, and at least for me, I'm still a paying customer of Hiveaways. The big reason for that is I mainly have Octominers, and the integration with Hiveaways is just amazing, all of the functions and features that you get with that. The other one is I have some of my rigs hosted, so I have to use Hiveaways, and that's why I'm continuing to pay and being a paying customer of Hiveaways. Yes, I do know there are a ton of alternatives. There's a bunch of channels that are covering these alternatives and again if you want to follow Overboard Tech I know he is moving all of his rigs over to MMPOS and he's covering that so if you wanted to have a more or in-depth look at that I encourage you to go and check out his content but in today's video what we are going to do is I'll show you how I get this RDNA 3 card working at least in high voice what we are going to do is we are going to go and put the beta image of high voice on my Octominer and then what we're going to do is load the latest Rockham drivers on the Octominer and then I'm going to dual mine let's say a lithium and ergo on this specific card. This is not a overclocking video, <laughs> this is just to show you how to get your card working and mining at least stable in my case. Now enough talking about it, let's get stuck in and install this GPU in my Octominer. Okay, so here we are in the garage. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the 7900 XT into this Octominer at the top. This is my AMD rigs here, so I've got the two rigs AMD, and then on that side, I've got my NVIDIA GPUs and then all my um, AI rigs there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this 7900 XT into my AMD rig. Mainly, it has got all 6700 XT. So I'm going to go ahead and install it there, close it up, and then we are going to have a look at the commands in HiveOS to get this thing mining and what you will see at least at the start if you're using the stable version what it would look like. Okay so here we are in HiveOS. Now the first thing that you would see is it's picking up my 7900XT but there's a lot of unknown. The other issue that you see here is I get a message here at the top that says unsupported device and if I click on it it will tell me here AMD RDNA 3 GPU requires image based on Ubuntu 20.04 and that's exactly what the issue is. For those of you that are not aware, the AMD drivers, at, at least for Linux, is baked into the kernel. And that's been the issue why support has been a little bit lacking with HiveOS is HiveOS is built at least a stable version on a very old or an older version of the Linux kernel. And that's now where we will need to go ahead and get onto a HiveOS version that's at least on a later kernel Linux kernel that supports RDNA 3 and luckily that is on the beta image so the first thing that we are going to go ahead and do is do a hive replace and get the beta image of HiveOS on now how I'm going to do that is I first am going to get into the rig here and again you can log in however you want um, and what you would see here is how do I do that? And it's nicely listed here at the bottom. It says Hive Replace. So I'm just going to type that. Oops. Hive Replace. And then I'm going to go dash dash list. And that will go ahead and show me the versions of HiveOS and which one that I want to select. So we'll give it a second to load. Okay. After giving it some time, you can go ahead and see the various different versions of HiveOS that is available. As I have at the moment, I've got the stable version and it's built on Ubuntu 18.04 and that's what you can see here. It tells you exactly what the kernel is. Now, what we are going to go ahead and do is install the latest beta here. And as you can see, it's on Ubuntu 20.04 and that's really where we want to go ahead and install that because that's where we will get support for RDNA 3. So all that I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in the number 2. It's going to tell me, are you sure you want to do this? It requires X amount of RAM, X amount of space. I'm going to say yes. What will now happen, and it will take a bit of time, at least in my case the internet sucks where I am at the moment, is it will go ahead and download and install the beta image of HiveOS. So I'm just going to give it some time and let it do its thing. Okay, so after giving it a couple of minutes, it would have restarted, done its thing, and then restarted. Again, depending on how you've logged in, you would potentially get something like this saying, I need to reconnect so I can just log in again. 
And then what will now happen is you would see it's got a newer version of HiveOS. So you can see the version of HiveOS and then the kernel there, 20.04. So that again is the new step. Now, again, if I jump back to the HiveOS front end here and I just hit refresh, you would see it's now at least logged in. It's moaning about the miner but you can see all of the Hive replay stuff that I have done. Um, again, you'll see the similar information specifically here telling you that what kernel you are on and what version you're on. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do to get it to mine or get it ready to mine, and here you can see it's picking up the memory. I'm lucky with the Samsung memory here, is I'm gonna do and install the uh, OpenCL and the Rockham drivers. Now for that, I'm gonna go back in here and what I'm going to do is AMD OCL dash install. That is the command that will show me at least the OpenCL drivers and the Rockham drivers here. Now, what it will show me is an example of what I need to type. So you can see here AMD OpenCL or OCL install 20.2 and then behind that the Rockham drivers here. And that's specifically what I'm going to do. So in my case, I'm just going to go with the latest. So I'm going to go um 22.20 .20, i think is the latest and then 5.7 so i'm going to install opencl 22.20 and then rockham drivers 5.7 now again what this will go ahead and do is go ahead and install that specific drivers now again similar to the hive replace i'm just going to go give it some time once it's done i'm going to let it reboot and then we are going to apply one of my flight sheets and see that it is at least mining stable. Now, as you can see here, it sent some messages. It's installed the drivers. And I have a message here at the bottom that says current installed OpenCL library. It gives me the version. And then you can see I've got the latest Rockham drivers, or at least what's available from HiveOS. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is after all of that, <laughs> I am going to reboot the rig. So I'm just going to go ahead and reboot. Once it's rebooted, I will go ahead and apply a flight sheet and then have a look and see if it's mining at least stable. Now, after restarting it, after the Rockham drivers and OpenCL drivers, I've applied the flight sheet and it's currently mining. And as you can see, I'm currently using SRB. I have tried it on the latest TRM, at least when I dual mine, at least with the latest version of Team Red Miner, Lithium and Ergo together, I have the odd GPU crash. I have found, at least in my case for now, the wattage is a little bit more using SRB miner, but at least I can mine um, consistently. Uh, and that's what you would have seen here before. Now, what my overclocks are for the 7900XT, again, this is not a overclocking video. You should really go and watch the guys that focus on the overclocks and that is a hell of a lot better than I am. And again, I'll leave a link in the video description. Go follow Overboard Tech. He does some great videos and live streams of overclocking. At least for me, uh, with the 7900XT, I have played with the voltages. It doesn't make a difference. I don't know if, if it's a high OS thing or what it is, but at least um, fiddling with the GPU in high OS doesn't gain me a lot of results. At least for now, this is just what I have it. Um, the memory can go up to 1250, again, for Linux, um, you know, sort of half what it is on Windows. It's about 2500 megahertz, but again, in Linux, it's sort of half that, so 125 zero is what you would see here and then it can boost up to at least 2.3 gigahertz this is a reference card you would have noticed um, so it can go up to that at least what i've got it set at is um, 1100 on the core and the core is really used for for a lithium um, obviously ergo is a memory algorithm and that's why i'm dual mining specifically for this card obviously uses gddr6 not 6x it's got the 320 bit bus so it doesn't have a massive bus, so it can't get massive gains necessarily on Ergo. Uh, again, if I push it hard, <laughs> it just consumes a lot of wattage. So um, it's not definitely not the most efficient card. I definitely don't recommend you getting a 7900XT. I do think there's a ton of 6000 series cards that's just way better. Um, so I would definitely never recommend this card. I bought it. For the channel, I wanted to test it out. I was super excited about the multi-chip modules. I was hoping that 
uh, we would get efficiencies at least where it is now it's not that but that's really how easy hard it is to get your rdna3 card working on highways i do know it's a lot easier on some of the other operating systems or mining operating systems out there that just are built on the latest kernel so you wouldn't have that issue or at least um, doing a hive replace and installing the rockham drivers uh, and opencl drivers that's it for this video guys if you've liked the video please like the video and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel if you didn't please specify in the comments what you would like me to change otherwise i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers